the attacking side being played by Dignitas and T2D have chosen to, to defend. Understandable decision. Nonetheless, here we are. Finally, the first round is underway. And I'm going to pick it up with TT because I like his name. And he plays AK, I don't care. Let's go with him as he lags his way out of that spawn area. Gets a casual nade out to be long, understandable players. They do look to be sending an SMG and AK to the B side. T2D, just have a look at how they're defend positioning their players. Nems with an SMG on top of a stairs. Harika watching that catwalk cross. Stigmatas taking it very relatively slow. Delru in that market area. And then does come into contact in one within that A arch. It is Cram. It, oh, sorry, that is Mark. Orica on that top street as well. No frags from either side. This is very slow play from Dignitas on the attack. Koa on that mark of stairs. Two frags in quick succession. Both scopes picking up a frag near bit as well. Onto Mark. 4v3. Quickly made 3v3 as Koa chimes in with a frag to TT. My main man TT is now dead. I'm going to pick it up with Fantasy as he is pushing up that top street. Can sit down. Hereka surely does take him down. Gets the scope. Now trying to get that second frag. Oh, he does. Near bit. Completely unaware. Fantasy's recent positioning and oh my god there it is the fourth frag as well Fantasy demolishing the T2D side and that is not a good start All right, I'm gonna pick it up now with Delru implementing a gorgeous blue tiger SMG as he does make his way to once again towards that market area gonna take that mid it looks like he's gonna take it a bit faster than he did last time just looking for that A arch push not gonna be given the T2D are playing very defensive it's a massive plus 10 on that B side. Completely destroys any sort of defense they did have. Actually, Harika is there to tag up and take down Mark. Quickly taken down by Delry though, as he does make his way up to top street. And Delry gets another one near bit. That was needed. Oh dear. And now Nems going to get taken down by Delry as well. Three frags for him and two for Mark. That is a very quick round for Dignitas. And I believe, ladies and gentlemen, this is looking to be a 13-0. This is not looking good. Very weak play from TTD at the moment. I'm going to pick it up with Mark now for Dignitas, or Cram, as I should say. With his SMG. Actually going to catch the nade as well. TT with a nice double. Delru and Black go down. And suddenly T2D looking a little bit stronger. Fancy and Koa, last two men standing. Koa actually gets taken down by TT as well. TT with three. Trying to get that fourth now. As it is all on Fantasy. Fantasy to spot Herika, just missing him on the cross. Fantasy. Again, that nade out towards stairs. Well aware that he's about to be pushed. In fact, three players on that catwalk now. Well expecting him. Fantasy. Always looking to clutch. Does actually get heavily tagged. Is it me that's lagging or is it them? I'm not entirely sure. In fact, it is me with a 200 ping. That's exciting. Anyway. You see the round actually go to T2D. They're going to be happy with that one. Smiley face all round. He's going to go with Fantasy now as he does try and get that spray to, through that mid area. Actually gets tagged by a nade. That nade came flying from T2D. Did tag him, but nothing more concrete. As Nems does actually chime in with first blood. Blackmane going down. Kobe with that, putting that spray out towards mid. There are players there to receive it, but none going down. Furzy with a frag of his own as well onto Delru. Harika, the scope for T2D on the defense. On his, he kind of, he's really doesn't want to have to commit himself to a bomb site, just still chilling. Finally does hit that plant going down on the A side. He's going to make his move now. 3v3. Fantasy actually way over on B though. As the bomb does go down from Koa. Nems quickly take Telekeem down for the trouble. Fantasy as well onto TT. Cram putting some pressure on that A side. Nice to take down her record. Looking to get that final frag onto Nems. Let's get the Deagle. Oh, Mark just playing with him now. Gets the knife. Oh dear. 3-1 is your score and I'm pretty sure... We're starting to see how these rounds are going to shape up. Still, though, I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with Scope. Who have we got? Let's go with Harika. Give him some airtime. The Scope. As he does quickly get taken down by Fantasy. Fantasy finally actually getting a frag through that spray. He has been persistent in that. As TTD looking a bit low. Nem's actually heavily tagged. Going to regen. Quickly made. Oh, TT just getting destroyed by a demolitions class. Not most satisfying of deaths, I'm not going to lie, as we do see 4v2, quickly made 4v3, oh, and quickly made 4v3, that makes interest, interesting mass there from Machine, <laughs> anyway, 3v1 nonetheless, Furzy on the push towards A, there is a player right behind him on that dog, as he does push up, now, I've been told to call it dog now, it was platform, it's always been platform in my books, but apparently the opposite of catwalk is dog, hence dog is opposite catwalk, anyway, Dog. Hmm. Gonna pick it up now with Delru once again. Delru on the rush. It hasn't been really had much trouble with T and 2D's nades. He has gets a completely uninterrupted rush towards that mid, gets that nade out towards Dog. 
Black main once again with a frag from that shotgun. Delivery picking up the scope. So we have to get that second onto Nems. Nems once again on that east stairs, but nothing for it though. As Delivery tries to land a cheeky deagle, doesn't as Nems constantly fighting the stairs. Gonna get taken down by the player in that A house. Who is it? It is Black main. Black main on that top street. Does actually get the frag. TT trying to respond. Does. Takes him down. Now 40 seconds. TT and Fuzzy last few men standing. Fantasy quickly puts it all down to TT with the deagle frag onto Fuzzy. Now. TT heavily tags up Koa. 30 seconds, time is not on his side at the moment. Very slow play from the remaining Dignitas players. Fantasy watching that A arch. Deru chilling in some grass in the corner. And now 18 seconds, it's looking very unlikely now as the time just continues to click down. I'd say it's more of a beep than a click, but nonetheless, he does actually take down Delru, but Koa takes him down as well. It's 5-1. I did. I mean, I told you TT would perform, and there he is, shining at the top of the scoreboard with five frags. And I'm going to go ahead and follow Mark now. As he, no, I'm not because he's sat in spawn. Okay, let's go with Arika. Let's see if he gets a little bit more time to shine this time. Delroy, the only man to get a frag so far, it was TT catching it. As he does get the near towards car park. It looks to be a bit of an A split now. From the Dignitas side, Delvery already in that corner. Mark with a nade onto Nems as well. Fantasy following up with a frag to Nib. The double end down for T2D. That's Harika, the scope, and the last man standing now for T2D. About to encounter one on AR. Just spot him, does get taken down. And Delru just having very little kind of like resistance on the push. Let's go with him now. You can just see a hole in T2D's attack. Defense, sorry. As we see the two players, make it three players making their way towards the A site. Bomb not in hand, they are obviously confident in the frags they're going to pick up. Blackman once again drawing first blood with that shotgun. That is working lovely as he gets a second. Horika going down as well. Fantasy having no problems taking down that AA gate. As Nems does try and fire back, taking down Koa in that mid area. Delru way back, actually finally realising his mistake and tries to get that bomb. Fantasy. Not stopping though as he does take down Nems. The double end once again going down. They like to die together, these two. There's now we're all on TT over at B. It doesn't last long as Blackman gets his third demolitions frag of the round. And seven for four with shotgun alone. Koa times out by them. Down, that's going to really hinder them that much. Not judging Koa by his skill. I'm just, I feel TT are in a little bit in over their depth at the moment. Delaru does catch a glimpse of one in that A corner, knows he needs to nade, does, as he does avoid the nade of his own, gonna actually fail it. Just judging that one as Hurricane does chime on the frag onto Blackmain. No shotgun frags for you this round. It's fantasy, actually. The comms have changed. Fantasy sees Delroy get slaughtered, gonna try and respond, doesn't. Lands the tangle to Nems. Nems has just gotta play it now, play it very cautiously. Oh, and Fantasy does just push around to get one. Trying to get the second out with that no scope, doesn't. Furzy takes him down and 7 2. Two rounds in a well, not in a row, but two rounds for T2D. Can they add to that total? They're going to just want. They know they they know this loss is inevitable. They just want to kind of get as many rounds as they can. As you see, two nades coming out. Delu doesn't actually get taken down in that mid area. Catches a glimpse of one on market stairs. Whether or not he's going to be able to profit from that. As he oh, he only does catch a glimpse of Furzy trying to get that second one in market. It's actually going to be his teammate Blackmain to take him down. Nems paying for that one. TTD once again hindered in numbers. TT and Hurrica last men standing. Hurrica on the frag onto Blackmain. TT does hear one on that AR. Just sees him. It's going to be Bladelru to go down. Nice play. Suddenly it becomes a 2v2. Numbers looking a little bit more likely. Bomb going down now from Kram. TT does take him down though. Bomb has gone down, which makes it just that little bit more difficult for TT. TT actually faking it. Drawing a draw out. Fantasy's fire. Fantasy does actually push out. Surely this is going to be TT's round. No, it can't. Fantasy punishing him with that deagle. And 8-2 is your score. Okay, then. Deru actually looks, looks to have taken AK. Maybe didn't enjoy having no kind of struggle with that SMG. Likes a little bit more of a challenge. TT with that nail into car parts. Two players to encounter. Does see one. Takes down Blackman. Trying to get the second as he comes around that corner. Is he? No. Delroy takes him down. As does Mark with an AK. Frag onto Nibit. And it is suddenly a 3v3. Neville playing field once again. We've got to remember though that Dignitas are a man down. Koa did timeout and are playing on nonetheless. Does actually look to be reconnecting now. 
That's Horika just failing that deagle. That's going to cost him. Unless Fezzi can mop up for his teammate's mistake. Fezzi has already picked up one. Looking to get that second now in that eight. Flash is one, but Fantasy's there backing up his teammate. That is what I like to see. Just watching that push as he was. did get flashed. It was Delru, but Delru does repay the favor. Taking down Nems and Horika as well to bring it to 9-2. whole different playing field right now. I'm going to go with Fantasy once again. See him trying to get those opening picks. He he's really has favoured this mid-spray, which he once again, well, was going to try until his teammate took it. Fantasy dodging those BLA nades. Now it's finally going to put some eyes onto that platform area. Does see Horika, takes him down. Berry absolutely destroyed by that R700. As Horika did actually get, manage to land a nade onto Delru. Furzy as well for T2D. Blackmane quickly responding though. Near bit taking a trip down memory lane as he does get once again taken down by Blackmane. Koa on that A-Arch holding it strong and steady. Nothing to see here besides Koa holding once again that A-Arch. TT's going to finally try and put some pressure on him just to come around that corner. Nothing for it though. As TT realises he's been in this situation before. Nems though is to back him up this time. Coming up from that car park area. About to encounter Fantasy, does actually see him. Trying to put some spray on him. Fantasy surely can land the Deagle this time. No, he doesn't. Nems takes him down. Me of little faith. As it is 1v2 though, 20 seconds to do something special, Nems. Can you show us right now? Does he heavily tagged up and taken down from Koa? 10-2 is your halftime score. And now the question is, can T2D put up a bit more of a fight on the second half? Fighting talk coming out from TT saying a Nexus will beat you. Uh, well, just told to see about that. Now we're just going to wait on Smug uh, Smuggy to be ready up. Thank you very much. And we are back underway. Right then. I mean, as I said, Fantasy is top fragging with that scope. 17 frags. Let's go with him. I, mean, I don't really see why he's doing it. Let's, let's just go with him, see if he does try and get those opening frags. Which is a massive fan of Mark once again, stealing his thunder. As TT lands a double on that A-Arch. Black men in cover going down, <laughs> loving it. As you see the spray, just because of that red barrel, made it such a lovely spray nade. As Fantasy does once again get an SMG frag onto Furzy. Horika as well onto Mark. 2v4. T2D finally with a big numbers advantage. I don't think it's going to stop Fantasy having a go though. Is it does catch a glimpse of Nems getting that bomb down on that B-side. It goes down. TT responds though. Taking Fantasy down. The scope now down for Dignitas. And TT looking very strong on that B-arch. There's actually the last player on that B-side is Delru. Just get taken down by Horika. Horika. I'm going to say, let's go with him. Let's just see how he plays. How he matches up to... Let's be honest, he has got a bit of a task open up against Folk Fantasy at the moment, still. Trying to get those opening peaks, having a nice little wiggle. Oh, suddenly three players fill his crosshair, lands a tag onto his teammate, I believe. Still, first he goes down. Goes, well, sorry, goes to town with a nade onto Mark, there you go. And now I'm going to get excited with Nems, Nems with that bomb. The bomb carrier does get a M14 bullet into the skull. And it's not going to be happy with that one. It is Blackmane, the wielder of the M14. Let's go with him. Just to, Well, it was Blackmane. He did actually get taken down by TT. I, did, I completely missed that one. I just see Fantasy stealth in his way up. Actually, Dignitas with a disadvantage. Does get spotted, though, as he does Explosions make his way towards planted. Wooden. TT again with a frag. TT really strong. 13 frags at the moment. Horika mops it up, though. Two rounds in a row for T2D. This is more like it. And now we're going to see how that Blue Tiger does help Delru once again. Just in case any Blue Tigers are around, he can lie down and disappear. Makes his way towards that catwalk once again. Going counter one on that. It does catch a glimpse of them on that white van. Going to play it cool behind that bin. Just knows he doesn't need to do anything but stop that plant. So he does make his way back towards that B-Arch. Only nade so far to land was Marks. Hurricane does land the scope frag onto... Fantasy. Scope down now for Dignitas, as is the AK on A. Nearbit, the man behind the frag. Delru punishes Nearbit, though, for that defense now. Mark with an M14, as is Blackmane. Horika again onto Delru. Blackmane with the M14 onto Horika. The scope taken down by an M14. And that is nothing but embarrassing for TTD at the moment now. Still 2v2, bomb down. 
it's better than that. Dignitas managed the majority of the time. Whether or not they're taking this entirely seriously, though, is another question. As the M14 squad makes their way onto that B site, M14's of course in hand. Oh, and Blackmane, a lovely nade onto his teammate. Mark catching it gorgeously as Mark Blackmane gets that frag with the M14. Now, 12 seconds, fakes it. Gonna try and draw out some sick M14 headshot. But it's not to be as he does get spotted by TT and taken down. 510 is your score. And I think Dylan Class a little bit overly confident right now. And um, they're well aware that they're three rounds away from victory. And so implementing some PAM4 weaponry. Still no opening frags. As Delroo does get one onto Fursey. It's just, it, let's, let's go with M14. Who have we got? Where are you? I can't find them. Mark actually on BH. Fantasy with the Deagle frag onto Nems though. That's Mark or Cram, I should say, is just holding that mid area. I just want to see it. I just want to see an M14 kill. Does actually spot one in that wooden. Just trying to get to put the wall bang into wooden. Oh, and Horrigan is the man to receive it. Does it get taken down. As Mark looks to get that second into lovely. Does spot him, but does get taken down. Punished for his weapon choice. As TT comes out on top with the AK-47. Definitely the weapon of choice for most. TT does land the tag onto Delru. This down 1v2. Sorry, 1v3 is looking... I'm going to say more than... More than likely, but no. Fantasy did take him down. It's 5 11 and now Fantasy actually with 22 for 7. TT with 15 for the top of the DT2D scoreboard. Still, let's go with Blackman. Let's get those open frags. Ooh, Orica does finally take him down. I think he was a bit upset about previously falling to the M14. Delry picks up a nice plus 10 on that score, trying to get another one with a Denade. He does. Three frags in the same amount of seconds for Delry. Trying to get that fourth. Oh, he does tag him up. And he gets tagged up a bit for his on his own. It was Nems, the man. Dueling with... It's funny, he's about to come up behind. Mops up one. Can he get the second? Ultimate cleaning on city streets. No, he doesn't. Nems takes him down. Delroo gets that fourth frag that he was looking for. And 12-5 is your score. Koa once again disconnecting. This amazing 5v4 ratio is ever popular with Dignitas at the moment. Still, we see Delroo actually choosing AK this round. It's nice to see an AK on the Dignitas side. I don't think the, main, the actual AKs are implementing them. Still, Delroo... Just catch a glimpse of one going to Z. In fact, another one on that market stairs. Tick does spot one, it's Furzy. Suddenly he's looking very strong. Does see another one on his way to B Arch. Just makes his way there. Delru. <laughs> Delru, I think, was contemplating a knife, but does get taken down after taking TT on that B Arch. Now, 3v2 numbers in Dignitas' favor. Blackmane hit fire M14 ing. Fishing for a frag. Terrible fisherman as he does get taken down by Nems. Nems now having a look at the clothes rail, contemplating whether he wants the blue or the green shirt. Those are your options on City Streets. As Mark last month, he does look to be holding the plan. Not going to happen. As TTD could check end of the round. This is 6 12. I think Dignity Class kind of maybe want to pick this round up. Just 13 6 is more than acceptable. As we go with Fantasy this time. I'm looking for that opening frag onto her record. Doesn't manage to get it. Catches the glimpse of the red barrel instead, though. As no opening frags are exchanged. Nems under very heavy fire, as is Harika, but neither do go down. Koa on the attack, though. Takes down TT. Quickly silence for the attack. It's near bit. Get, gets a Deagle bullet in the head once again from Fantasy. Fantasy with that Deagle constantly. That's Furzy. On to Cram. Again, on to Blackman. Furzy with three frags this round. Looking to get the fourth. As he is up against Fantasy. Fantasy has brought it to a 1v1. Scope v Deagle now. It's not looking very likely for Furzy. And now Fantasy knows he can just hold this. Oh, and there it is. The defuse has happened. Cheeky Explosive bean. Defused. And 13-6. An accidental win for Dignitas. And as expected, the Dignitas side do come out on top. There it is. Ladies and gentlemen, that was T2D up against Dignitas. 13-6 was the final score. And I have to say, I think T2D will be more than happy with themselves with that score. As always, I am Machine. Thank you for tuning in. And I believe we have a second game up for you shortly. Do not go anywhere. And I hope you're having an amazing Halloween. Back shortly. Thank you.